Welcome back to Terramind's how-to tutorial series. In today's video, we will show you how to deploy Terramind on Azure. Terramind's user activity monitoring and data loss prevention solutions are available to deploy on Microsoft's distributed, highly scalable and reliable Azure platform as a private cloud option. To get started, you will need an Azure account and your Terramind license key. The first step in getting started with Terramind on Azure is to go to Terramind's Azure Marketplace portal and then create a Terramind virtual machine. Please visit www.terramind.co forward slash deployment forward slash Azure and click the check out Terramind on Azure Marketplace button which will take you directly to Terramind's page on Azure. You can also visit Azure's Marketplace and search for Terramind directly from there. On the Terramind Azure Marketplace page, click the get it now button. Click the continue button on the pop-up screen labeled create this app in Azure. This will launch the Azure portal and take you to a create a virtual machine page. You might be asked to log into your Azure portal if you have not already done so. On the first tab basics, we can keep the subscription to the default pay as you go option. Select an existing resource group under subscription or you can create a new one. A resource group is basically a container or folder you can use to hold related resources like storage accounts or virtual machines for the Azure solution. We can now name the virtual machine under the instance details. You can also select a region, redundancy, and sizing options directly from here. For the demo, we will keep the default settings. Near the bottom of the page, provide your admin username and password to authenticate the account. You can also use an SSH public key instead of a password-based authentication. Click the Next Disks button to continue to the next screen. We will keep the default premium SSD option for the OS disk type. Note that Terramind requires the primary volume to be on SSD or equivalently fast storage for deployments above 500 users. Click the Next Networking button to continue to the next screen. Terramind comes ready with a pre-configured network interface card with the necessary NSG rules for use with a VM. So unless you have a unique environment, you can keep the default settings on the networking screen. Click the Next Management button to continue to the next screen. The management screen provides options for monitoring, identity, and auto shutdown. We will keep the default settings for this page. Click the Next Advanced button to continue to the next screen. You can add post deployment extensions on the advanced screen. Since we don't have a need for any of that, you can click the Next Tags button to continue to the next screen. Tags allow you to categorize resources for consolidated billings. This section is completely optional and for the demo purpose we won't use any tags. Click the Next Review plus Create button. Azure will then run a validation check for all the settings and confirm with a validation pass message unless it encounters any errors. Review all your settings and click the Create button near the bottom of the page to start creating the virtual machine. It might take a few minutes to create the virtual machine. Once Azure is done, it will display a message indicating your deployment is complete and then verify your deployment details, its resources, and their status. Now we are ready to test with SSH. In order to accomplish that, we will need the public IP address of the virtual machine. From within your Azure portal, click All Resources from the left sidebar. From the list of resources, click the Terramind virtual machine we created in the previous step. This will display a list of all properties of the virtual machine. From the top of the list, select Overview. Locate the public IP address and record it as we will need it in a moment. We can now use SSH to connect to the virtual machine and set it up for the Terramine installation. If you are on Windows, you can use a tool like PuTTY or a similar utility for the SSH. Launch the command prompt and make sure you have administrative access. Type SSH space the username at and then paste the public IP address just after the at symbol in the command prompt and press enter. The username is the one we specified for the administrative account when creating the virtual machine. Provide the administrative password when prompted. The Termine virtual machine will be ready in a few minutes and you'll be given options to assign a role for the server. But before we do that, there are a couple of other steps that need to be completed. Keep this command window open as we will need it to finalize the setup at a later stage. External storage isn't mandatory for Terramind deployments. However, Terramind uses file storage for OCR screen recordings and Microsoft Azure Blob Storage is an efficient, secure, scalable, and redundant solution to store such data with Azure. External storage is recommended for deployments of over 100 concurrent monitored users. If you already know how to create storage, you can skip the following section. From your Azure portal, click All Resources from the left sidebar. 
click the Add button on top. From the list of options on the right hand side, click Storage. From the right panel, click the Storage Account link. You will now be taken to the Create Storage Account page. Similar to the Create Virtual Machine page we saw in Step 1, this page has several tabs on top. And like the Virtual Machine page, we will keep most of the default settings as is. On the first tab, Basics, select the resource group you want to use or create a new one. We can now name the storage account under the Instance Details section. Click the Next Advanced button. Make sure the Secure Transferred Required option is enabled. Click the Next Tags button. Similar to the creation of the virtual machine, tags allow you to categorize resources for consolidated billing. This is once again optional and for the demo purpose we won't use any tags. Click the Next Review and Create button. Azure will once again run a validation check for all the settings and confirm with a validation pass message unless it encounters any errors. Review all your settings and click the Create button near the bottom of the page to start creating the storage. It might take a couple of minutes for this process to complete. Once Azure is done, it will confirm with a message your deployment is complete and verify your deployment details, newly created storage, and its status. For this demo, we will show you how to create an Azure database for PostgreSQL for use with Terramind. If you already know how to create a database, you can skip the next section. From your Azure portal, click All Resources from the left sidebar. Click the Add button on top. From the list of options on the right hand side, click Databases. From the right panel, click the Azure Database for PostgreSQL link. You will now be asked to select a deployment option for the service. We will use the Single Server Plan. Click the Create button under this option. You will see a similar page like the Create Storage page with several tabs on top. And like the Storage page, we will keep most of the default settings as is. On the first tab, Basics, select the resource group or create a new one. Now let's name the database on the server name field under the Server Details section. Create an admin account for the database server by completing the admin username and password fields. You can use the default selection for the location, but it's highly recommended that you use the same location as your primary Terramind virtual machine. Click the Next Tags button to continue to the next screen. Click the Next Review and Create button. Azure will now give you an estimated monthly cost and other details for the database on the review screen. Review all your settings and click the Create button near the bottom of the page to start creating the database. It might take a couple of minutes to create the database. Once Azure is done, it will confirm with a message your deployment is complete and verify your deployment details, the newly created database, and its status. We will now need to edit a few settings on the database so Termine can connect with it smoothly. From your Azure portal, click All Resources from the left sidebar. Now select the database you just created. A panel will open on the right where you can see a list of all the properties of the database. Click Connection Security from the list under the Settings group. Turn on the Allow Access to Azure service. Disable the Enforce SSL Connection option near the bottom. Now click the Save icon on top to save the changes. Once we have created the storage and the database, we are now ready to continue with the rest of the setup process. Let's go back to the SSH console window we opened earlier. Previously, we left off at the Enter Master Role prompt. For the Master Role, let's name it Master and then press Enter. Termine will then ask you if you want to use external databases. Type Yes. Now we will need to provide a database IP or host name. We can use the IP address from the Azure PostgreSQL database we created earlier. To get the IP address, click the database name from the All Resources page. Then select Connection Strings. You will see a list of connection strings for different languages. Copy the server host porting from any of the strings. For this demo, we will copy it from the top. Now paste it on the SSH prompt. It will then ask you for a username and password. Enter the username and password you assigned when creating the database. Once you press enter, Terramind will initialize the database tables and record indexes automatically. If you're prompted to enter another password, use the admin password we use when creating the virtual machine. Once done, Terramind will ask you if you want to use Azure Storage. Type yes. It will now ask you to enter the account name for the Azure Storage. If you don't remember the name, you can get it from the storage resource you created earlier. To do so, click the storage name from the All Resources page. Then select Access Keys. A page will pop up with the storage account name. Copy and paste it in the SSH prompt. On the next prompt, enter the account key. You can get the key from the Access Keys page under Key 1. Once you press Enter, Termind will configure the storage. This will conclude the initial configuration of Termind. 
You will now be presented with an HTTPS link. Click this link or copy and paste it in a new browser window. You may be prompted with an SSL warning message. This is normal as we haven't used an SSL certificate just yet. You can set up an SSL certificate later from the Terramine dashboard. For now, most browsers will allow you to continue with an override action. If you are using Google Chrome, click the advanced link on the page and then select proceed. You should now see the Terramine welcome screen. Please select your language and time zone and then click continue. Next, you will be required to set up an email and a password to be used with your admin account. Click continue when done. Next, you will need to provide the Terramind license key. You can find your license key from the Terramind self-hosted portal. Enter the license key and then click continue. All that is required now is to install the Terramind agent on the computers you want to monitor. For instructions on how to install the Terramind agent, watch the how-to video downloading and installing Terramind's hidden agent on our Terramind YouTube channel. You can also download a PDF version of the Terramind on Azure deployment guide from www.terramind.co forward slash resources. If you encounter any issues during the deployment process, open a support ticket from your dashboard or send us an email to support at terramind.co. As always, thanks for taking the time out to learn more about Terramind. Click the button below to subscribe and check out our other videos and tutorials on the Terramind YouTube channel.